Hey guys, Dexter here from Dexter Talk Workshop. So um, tonight I remembered about the conversation that I had with my mentor uh, in uh, uh, electronic engineering. Um, I, I've also seen uh, what I'm about to tell you. I've also seen it uh, in a couple of places, also on uh, uh, MZ site. Um, and we are going to talk a little bit about reverse bias of a transistor, um, especially a germanium transistor because it's much easier to reverse bias or reverse beta uh, a germanium transistor. Um, actually, what is happening, uh, it's the fact that that particular transistor, the amplification factor will go down a notch I, I never, I was never looking for that uh, uh, volume boost. I was looking for the color of the sound. Okay, so so I tried to to experiment with this, and I had I have to tell you that I am very very pleased about the result. I was actually bowled over. Uh, the whole different sound is changing. I like it very much. It's much thicker. It's much, uh, I don't know, uh, had a lot of harmonic content, if you like. Uh, I'm not going to enter a lot in details about how a reverse BS or a reverse beta is working, uh, but I'm going to tell you to think of this uh, actually uh, a bipolar transistor it's actually a symmetrical device uh, it's PNP or NPN so actually being symmetrical allows you to uh, play with uh, with this uh, uh, with this reverse uh, uh, BS effect um, actually the way that a transistor works it's uh, from the uh, the content and the uh, the size of the holes and the impurities that are doped with, so actually a transistor will work both ways. Either you are uh, having uh, the collector to the ground or the emitter to the ground, and I'm talking about PMP transistors now. Uh, it will work bo both ways. The only thing that will actually change is the, the amplification factor, which will go down in case of a reverse BS, and actually uh, the, the uh, frequency response of the transistor. Okay, so what I have here, I hope you can see, it's actually an AC128, you can, you can actually use any PMP germanium transistor uh, you can you can even uh, use the the leaky ones and it's actually a standard boost, booster amplifier class A configuration it's nothing nothing uh, uh, is changing All, the only fact that is changed here it's the fact that you have the collector tied to the to the ground with a 470 ohm resistor you have a 10k in the emitter which is uh, uh, tied to minus uh, V supply, okay. Uh, an output capacitor, uh, a, a load resistor of 100k, uh, a 500k trimmer. I, uh, I I recommend you to use a trimmer here because you'll have to trim the 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 voltage here. So the voltage uh, in this point. Uh, on the uh, emitter of the of the transistor should be approximately half of your supply voltage. Uh, an, an input cap um, about uh, 10 micro with the negative um, negative uh, lead to to the base of the transistor. I also like to bypass it with a, a hundred uh, pico picofarads uh, capacitor ceramic capacitor. I will explain you why I'm doing that, but not tonight. So actually, it's a standard amplifier schematic using one transistor. Um, it's nothing more, but 
actually the transistor it's reversed okay as as you can see what I can tell you is that I really really like this uh, this uh, topology and uh, I'll have to tell you that uh, I really enjoy it uh, pretty much so this is the bypass signal <laughs> around it but you can, you can actually feel it totally different than maybe a little bit lazy I don't know with a little bit less attack but but with a uh, with some uh, frequencies added on. anyway all in all um, you know me uh, I don't have to tell you that I really don't believe in Mojo or something like that. Uh, I will recommend you to, to actually build it. It's, it's a couple of parts, one, two, three, four. Uh, it's, uh, there are four resistors, two capacitors, one, one transistor. It's, it's not hard to do it. Uh, you, can, you can actually build it in a couple of minutes. And I, I'm telling you, you you're going to be be very very pleased with the with the with the actual result and you can actually tailor the uh, the frequency response of the booster according to your taste by uh, changing the the input and the output capacitor uh, actually right now it's a, a 10 microfarad it's actually a little bit too much uh, a 10 microfarad input cap with a, a 100 nano uh, output cap you can, you can play with the values, you can, you can add uh, 100 nano at the input and uh, 100 nano at, uh, at the output. You can actually, you can actually uh, change uh, and play with the, with the BS point if you are going to, to, to add a trimmer to, to, the, uh, to the whole design. So this is what I, would, uh, I wanted to, to share with you tonight. Uh, don't forget about my channel. If you like what I'm doing and my experiments and uh, if you like what I'm sharing with you, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I would be very happy to see that. And thank you again for listening to me and uh, I hope you, you will enjoy this, uh, uh, this little experiment. Bye bye guys, take care of you.